All right, welcome to another video, folks. Well, I'm here in Thurber, Texas, and we're fixing to go check out this old coal and brick plant from 80 to 100 years ago or more, and the remnants of. So, follow me. This is just off of the interstate right here, and there's driveways that come up here to the two, two buildings that are left and one's a restaurant, the other one's a little gift slash store. It's one of the original buildings here in town. And we go see uh, the remnants of the coal plant. They used to make coal here and then and the demand of the coal uh, lessened. So they, a lot of people went over one town down the road and started working in the oil field so then uh, the uh, bricks the soil was excellent here for the bricks so they switched to diesel over in the oil field industry and they figured hey we could do that so they could uh, start and run their kilns so they come back over here and they started making bricks and the building buildings of the foundations over here all the buildings are gone there's some foundations left and then the only remnants left over here there's one building over here which was the the water uh department for the town and then this smokestack right here from was left from the actual the actual plant we'll go over here and uh, read what it says it's got 1908 on it Thing's pretty tall, as you can see. This is evolution of an oil company. This is the site of the first commercial coal produced in Texas by Texas and Pacific Coal Company, mined in 1888. This company was the forerunner of Texas Pacific Coal and Oil Company, now one of the nation's substantial independent producers of oil and gas. The transition from coal mining to petroleum production was accelerated by the company's discovery in 1917 of oil and gas in the Great Ranger Field, 16 miles to the west. It was a national, natural evolution of an American enterprise dedicated to developing natural resources to supply the nation's growing needs for abundant energy. Beneath this ground lies part of the 127 million tons of coal still owned by Texas Pacific, which may be mined in the future. This is Texas's only known deposit of bituminous coal and occurs from the surface to a depth of 450 feet. And this thing is pretty tall and that says there it's possible for them to mine here in the future because there's they didn't get all of it. they only had like they only mined out 30 percent of what's here I said there's the remnants here of the water water department where they had the water for the city and this was thriving there was can't remember the there was quite a bit of people that were lived here because this was a big ind industry town as you can see there's a remnants of the building there. They've got it fenced in. To and then over here, this is the this is the original fire station. We'll go over and see this and see it in a minute. But there's still, as you can see, remnants of foundations and pads of things that were here. And then out closer towards the interstate, there was uh, like the entrance of this place where there's still stones left over from the entrance. And 
there had been fires and they had just decided to go ahead and pretty much demolish the the town after there had been some fires and stuff in the past. I got up with a local lady here in the one of the gift shops they had that was one of the original buildings that was the I believe she said it was the offices and that's where they kept all the documents. There was in a back room there it still had the original ceilings in it and that's where they kept all the because that's where the employees would come to get paid and that's where they would come in there and they would have I'm sure all the money and the important documents and stuff. This is all all that's left. down here and check out the we'll go up to the front back to back towards the highway and uh, check out the remnants there was a I think some, still some foundations remnants of buildings and foundations or just the foundations rather and we'll go and this is the orig original fire station walking around the back of it. This town goes back to the 1880s, I believe you said, when a lot of this stuff from this plant was built. And built a lot of stuff for World War I. And then went was prevalent from then, 1880s or so, till I think the 30s. And they're using it for storage, it looks like. And we've got, this is the original fire station. here was buildings of dedicated to the coal and brick plant big wide open space out here where all this used to sit. Hope you can hear me over there. There's an 18 wheelers park here and spend the night here. And there's some that's some brick there. There's remnants of remnants of this place everywhere you look. Then here's a some cement. We're coming up on another foundation of a see there's some there's some brick there. Look like where a wall was at. Outer edge of a building. And here's what I like to see is all the original tile still there on the foundation of an entrance to yeah, I mean, an office building or some part of the look at that you see the original tile and then 
There's like a remnants of brick here. Outer perimeter of a what once was a some building. If you can see it or not, but it says Thurber there on those bricks. Let's see, get a good close up there. Yeah, see, there's a Thurber with the triangle on it. She said, yeah, the triangle was the definite designation for bricks that came from this specific plant. And then here's the Sidewalk. This is just fascinating. What's that's was still left here. Here, there's some more. towards the smokestack and go back over there and get a better shot as we can see here <clears throat> sort of a pipe down in the ground. And we got a lot of, a few 18 wheelers here. There was a gentleman in there said he'd come in here to stop and get something to drink and going to spend the night. So they allow him to spend the night here. And here's a bunch of the old bricks. Sidewalk, old brick sidewalk. And I also was told earlier that the people would, uh, even though the brick plant was prevalent here, they let their roads, even though they made brick, they didn't, uh, they didn't pave their roads. Even though they made brick here, kind of ironic. So we're gonna head back down here. See if we can get a better shot of the old water building. And there's people who live right past here. There's houses, and then there's a there's an old cemetery. There was there were like bunches of people settled here in this town from different nationalities and they all got along they worked together and also there were the big deal about them not being 
able to go Union, but eventually they did. They just got a, just told a bunch of history. And that's a lot of it, pretty much, that we were told. So we'll get a, get a front view of the water building. I don't know if it was the water department or if it was water where where the water came in here and dispersed to everybody in town or what they used for the factory brick factory but this was the building that they used for that and I'm just uh, love the architecture the old the way they did the bricks brickwork Just roofs caved in, and but the bricks are still there. Still glass in the windows, and the building we were in, where the next to the restaurant, the woman said that's the original building where they uh, had their offices and kept their important paperwork in a, a little vault there and uh, said that the windows and the glass panes in that building were all the original except for one window pane a few years somebody was over here and noticed somebody that had gotten into the building and they busted one window pane and found out it was just a, a homeless guy that was just looking for shelter and that's the only glass pane that was had been replaced in a hundred years or more. Yeah, there's a smokestack Oops, there, right there behind it. So, and there's people that live right over here to the left of this. And then they have a restaurant that was one of the old original buildings. And there's a gap in the middle where one used to be. And like I said, it's just another video of remnants of a little town and what used to be of a very uh, prosperous factory first coal and then it went in demand and then everybody left and went into the oil field and then came back because of uh, diesel engines so they could run their kilns and then they uh, they started making bricks as you can see they had brick entrances to the buildings but the roads were never bricked although they made them here around the old fire station. on the smokestack but that is a tall smokestack of what's left of the coal and brick plant it's interesting that they only they only mined 30 percent of what's actually under the ground and it was real shallow where they found it all So, 
getting across the highway. We're going to make another trip after today, sometime in the future, and go see. Uh, there's a museum over across the highway. It goes into more detail. We'll do that later. So this is going to be it for this video. So if you uh, like this content and want to see more, then uh, leave a comment on what you would like to see next. So this will end this video and we'll see you on the next Explorer. Thank you for watching. Fairbury Trading Post that we come up to first and spoke with the lady that gave us some more insight on the on the plant and the area and the history. So if you like this video uh, and need more content like this, like, share, subscribe, hit that bell, and uh, we'll see you on the next Explorer.